I don't think it's like this too cool for school. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Give me right. the goddamn knife. <laughs> ah! Give me the goddamn knife. Ray has a whole plan here, dude. He's gonna stab it. And you should probably keep this bit in. You know. No, I'm gonna keep it in. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, great knife, motherfucker. <laughs> White. There's a there's a design behind this. We all know that you're just showing up to move the planchette on us and fuck with us. But Oh, yeah, no. Not Ray, that. Ray is armed. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, Dose of nicotine and try to be quasi professional for this. <laughs> yeah. uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Valley Strange, uh, and happy Halloween. If you're watching this on Halloween, if it is up on Halloween, I mean, I hope it is. Um, today we're going to be doing a little session on the Ouija board. You know, all that good stuff. Well, Ouija sesh. Uh, but Ouija sesh. Have you ever fucked with a Ouija board? No. Have you ever fucked with a Ouija board? No. I have. Have you ever fucked on one a Ouija time. board? You fucked? No. Did you uh, have <laughs> any? Obviously, no. Occurrences that occur? Wait, uh, did, was, was did somebody it, tell was you Was it yes? a Ouija board? Like a real Did you Ouija ask board to have or? the Dan Aykroyd moment in Ghostbusters and they told you no? Um, you I don't recall the questions. It was over a decade ago. Uh, and it wasn't an official Ouija oh. board. I remember it was this. a weed ja board. I remember this. <laughs> the planchette was a little plastic uh cannabis leaf. Yeah. Yes. Can cannabis leaf. Yeah. I remember this. <laughs> uh I won't go into details about the rules of the game, but it was amusing, you know. Uh but here yeah, it is. Yeah, it was. This episode is sponsored by Ouija. <laughs> uh by Hasbro. Hasbro Gaming. Right. Um the new uh, so there, encouragers so, of Satanism. And, and so, mm-hmm. and also, they're basically like the Disney of like toys and gaming products. Yeah. They own like and fucking everything. everything. And here they are. Uh, here they are. Right. Here they are, <clears throat> dabbling in the occult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a brand new uh, Ouija board, has not been opened, and we're going to open here on camera just so uh, uh, nothing's been tampered with. Like, uh, it hasn't been cursed at any point. Oh, we're actually forgetting a couple things. What's that? We had some. Decor for our table. Oh, we did. To make sure we come correct in this episode. <clears throat> there's there's a thing you got contributed by a couple shitty kids. And there's something that was in my cabinet. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, we so need to, I'm going to uh, get up. Grab our and so keep rolling, yes. you know, but. Right. I'm going to go ahead and start opening this, Daniel. Oh, for sure. Uh, but yes. We had to make sure go. we had the. The, the salt, salt for my, for, yeah. for my very generic brand, Superior yeah. Iodized Salt. But mm-hmm. remember, Superior Iodized Salt. Um, so I'm going to start opening this. Uh, Roland, uh, do you want to, or Daniel, do you want to read the rules? Uh, so um, the folks know you have your phone with you? Or I give you the link, I think. Well, oh, the, oh, the those rules. rules. The rules of the yeah, weekend. I will. Yeah, I definitely will so go I'm through this. Just start cutting here. Right? Yeah, and uh, I'll take it away. Ugh, goddamn follow link bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Following the Ouija board rules will help keep you safe from the trickster spirits and demonic entities that may come through when you're communicating with the other side. I love Hasbro's easy uh, witchcraft one Many. Fucking. Many. Instructions. Many. Many who have experimented with the Ouija board seem to agree that the old board game, <laughs> if it's a little more than a parlor trick 130 years ago, is not a toy to be messed with. The Ouija conjures fear and anxiety at the mere mention of its name. Uh, Ouija board sorry, users have been haunted, even tormented by spirits or demonic entities they open the door to through a talking board. Over the years, a handful of rules came about to keep the user safe while playing with a Ouija board. Following these simple rules might help ensure that you don't inadvertently invite the Zozo demon into your life if you're oh, right, not into yeah. that sort of thing. That's the thing. Good old Zozo. All right. Pazoo. So, onto the rules. Number one, never use the Ouija board alone. Playing Ouija by yourself leaves you more vulnerable to an evil spirit coming through from the other side. And so, so always have- make sure to play with one or more friends. Friends? Yeah, buddy. Or acquaintances. Damn it. Yeah, we know this guy. Mm. (laughs) So anyway, I got you, bitch. Um, Never use a Ouija board in a graveyard. Oh, man, we should have totally done this in a graveyard. We'll do it in a graveyard at some point. Bitchin'. Make sure we bring our 
super iodized salt. Yeah, actually, like maybe like lay out a circle, you know, and yeah. then to get made fun of by LeVay as he's rolling his grave, like these dumbasses. <laughs> Well, I mean, we want to make sure that the iodized, iodized salt stays in here because it's actually a weapon, right? It doesn't. You don't really need. Do you really need to make a circle around this thing or around us? Um, us. Oh, but us. I'm not sure if we should do one around the like board because, like, do they come to the board or they just come through like a portal and go like, "I'm not too sure." Aha! I'm here now. Or it's like a ghost in the other house. Like, I'll go fuck <laughs> with these guys now. They're trying to talk to ghosts. Uh, I could use a fucking break from these fucking nerds I'm fucking with. Anyway, so. Using a Ouija board in a graveyard or somewhere where a violent murder took place can cause a malevolent, a malevolent entity to come through the veil. Have well, there been any murders here? As far as we know? Um, no, but, you know, I mean, I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, maybe <laughs> that's sure just, there's an Indian burial ground well, find somewhere. Out maybe it's like murders in the building, but, like, I'm actually, like, finding real murders. But I'm not sure if that's the plot of that show. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, number three, never burn the Ouija board. A Ouija board is said to scream if you try to burn it. Anyone who hears the board scream will have 36 hours to live. So plug your ears. All right. I was going to burn this. We should maybe try this. We'll, we'll do it on another, we'll do it on another, uh, well, episode. actually, um, actually, uh, I need. Get a life insurance policy first. <laughs> I gotta protect my family. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so apparently, burning a Ouija board doesn't work anyway, according to stories, as it seems to end up back in its owner's home intact. Oh, so then we should just throw it in the trash. Is that, is that what it means? We yeah, I don't know. There's probably like number five. <laughs> like, don't try to give it to janitors. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so they're uh -huh. tired of getting. They've. They've. Uh, ah. Interesting. The proper way to dispose of Ouija board is to break it into seven pieces, sprinkle it with holy water, and bury it. Do you have uh, holy water on you? None of those things. Your mom probably does, right? Uh, probably. Oh, cool. More summoning stuff. Nice. Number four, never leave the planchette on the Ouija board. Man, you were about to do that, and I stopped you. I didn't leave the planchette on the board. Or leaving the planchette on the board can allow a demon or spirit to escape from the board. Another way something can escape is if you allow the planchette to count down through the numbers or alphabet on the board. Oh, so they try to go like D, C, B, A. Like, fuck you, ghost. No. Nope. <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> um, number five, never ask when you will die. But we actually can technically do that because if we say if you burn the Ouija board, do you have three days to live? And then the ghost is like, well, yeah, it happens for everybody. It's like, ha ha, <clears throat> that's me too. I know I'm going to die if I do this. <laughs> is um, it loophole? Mm. Number six, and something that Ray brought up as a joke, and I totally forgot that was kind of a thing for this sort of like ceremony sort of bullshit. Always say goodbye at number yes, six. Always. That's the one thing I did know. Always say goodbye. And uh, I, mean, I don't really know. feel like reading the little text that fills that in. Oh, that's fine. But there are six rules to Ouija. Six rules. And we just learned them. Six rules to Ouija. All right. So, I mean, um, an official Ouija board I have not uh, messed with, but I have seen people play the game, if you will. I saw someone in a trance, allegedly, playing with this thing. Now, I am skeptical. I, you know, I, okay. I, I don't know what to think anymore half the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. so my, Dude, am I, all the uh, Ike reading and then like all this other shit on like, I've been reading like witchcraft stuff. Uh, and uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, really. You know, like. Solid piece of wood? Mm -hmm. I guess. Really? Ish. Is that like wood wood? So uh, it's, it's particle board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it's totally very like, so. Uh, this, uh, oh yeah, exactly. It's like thank you. It's exactly what I was thinking. This I mean, tap very it. authentic, uh, printed out label. Uh, 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 I assume they used Elmer's glue uh, to this. Oh, Say dude. Elmer's glue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> particle board. Uh, uh, Do you think you, if somebody got like a with the serial number on the back, like in a Levian Satanist ceremony? If a chick got a fucking Ouija board like on her back, would they like get a planchette of like that's guided on like fucking cooking oil or something to you know? 
I don't know. It could be sexy. I don't know. <laughs> um, All right. The most I know about some of these is whenever you watch them, you see it being used like in a movie and shit like that. Yes, that's the only time I really see it. Well, now it's and like... a shitty ghost documentary. Yeah, uh, and or phasmophobia. <laughs> yes, you know? right. When you want to f- yeah, ask questions. That was, like, that, that was like a list of questions from phasmophobia that they had. Yeah, that you could use and yeah. it would respond to. Yeah. So in this case, we're going to turn it this way because I can't read it. Yeah, so we can do this. Like, so we can read. Yeah. But guess what, guys? Um, if you have a problem with it, flip your video. Yeah, probably. I mean, I think you do that on YouTube. If well, not, turn your actually turn your phone sideways better. and then do it slowly where you like kind of or or quickly, however your phone's little janky thing where it's like I can flip it over and it's still upside down. Um so like um what's up? How do we get started? Like I've seen people like I have no idea. You put the planchet on and then you kind of touch it lightly and then yeah. you kind of like there's no rule book in this movie. There is no rule book. They want you to summon demons. That's the whole thing. Yeah, they they tr- they, the world. yeah exactly. That's, well, that's, how, they're, that's how they're going to do it. Good. Has Burr wants to get him, but I don't know how to get there. All for the price of. <laughs> like, I can't start this fucking game. <laughs> I don't know. There are there. Is there a rule book? In there is not. I, I took this whole thing apart oh, just shit, now, man. and uh, yeah, this. this they're sucks. just letting people possibly destroy the world, bring evil upon everybody. Well, I mean, we've apparently had so many chances for them having made so so many of these damn things that yeah. uh, maybe we'll be the ones to. Uh, and I think be this, the last. This, uh, these uh, Ouija boards have gone through like different. Uh, oh, you mean because like the, Parker they're... Brothers, Hasbro? Oh, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna say iterations. You know, like the the if you want to be authentic, the the classic ones that are that are printed on the uh, 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 the backs or whatever of. of like goat foreskins or some shit. Uh, I don't know. What's, yeah. what's authentic? <laughs> that seems that okay. Seems what's, what, what, what are the classical uh, Ouija witchcraft? Uh, I think goat foreskins is like Kits. a good. Yeah. Oh, probably like uh, dead baby skins. Uh, that's what I was trying Maybe to think. Maybe like uh, placentas. Mm. What's that? that? Been, like, what's uh, that petrified. Uh, <laughs> petrified placenta. Yeah. Um, Anton is very upset with both of you that right sounds, now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds I'm a little too exotic, good. Ray. All right. To believe. Why is he upset with us? I don't know. We could ask him. We could try to ask Anton LaVey a question. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. All right. So we have our other special guest, yes. but uh, we'll which I've not uh, forgotten. But okay. yeah, we'll see where this episode takes us or it's, where the game want, takes he, us. He's going to be okay. he's gonna be very angry. Uh, so I guess I put it on us. and we see what happens, right? I mean, this is the, how most folks would start using a Ouija board, right? I Not think, really knowing much of anything about it. Right. Uh, yeah, but like wow. one thing that's crazy is like it's it, – okay, so one of the things in the Ouija board rules, it's uh, don't leave the fucking planchette on the fucking board. Right. By itself. Yeah. There's no fucking rules. Like there's no – so like kids are probably summoning demons left and fucking right at this point. Like mm. it, That's why this world is in the state it's in right now because people are just summoning – Is this shit. how the reptilians got through? They – Hmm. Well, no, they're, they're, because they're, they're, you're they're a little depressed. Yeah, you, you have depressed goth kids know. going. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't and wouldn't everybody their just local, be local? Like, yeah, but everybody just you say asking, that reptilians are from this plane. We're summoning things from a different plane of existence. Well, oh. I would say reptilians are not on this plane. They're only oh, partially shit. on this plane. Ah, yeah. oh, ah shit. how convenient! They, no, for they your can, theories. They can only interact with the fourth dimension. They can mm. shape shift and stuff, but mm-hmm. it's it's complicated. Read mm. David Icke, y'all. Just go to your Barnes and Noble, find the one copy of one of his books that's there, and just uh, I, I, I don't Free know. Your mind. I wouldn't recommend having a few beers and reading Ike because I was getting to the end of the most recent book I read from him, or not most recent of his, just the one I recently read, um, and. I straight up was like, I I hope this isn't true because this is horrible. Anyway, yeah. read David Icke, guys. Read David Icke. <laughs> All right. So, and, uh, um, oh, yeah, right. No, I'm going to say um, who wants to... I don't know if all three of us are going to do this. Oh, isn't that well, the way I think we to have work? to, like, yeah, like all, like, like all hands clothes, on yes. deck. All hands on deck on this one, okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to touch it, make sure it's not on it by itself. Oh, sorry. I got to, like, adjust my mic a little bit because I have to, like, lean forward to, yeah. like, Reach. get actually to the planchette, so. Okay, so. Well, that's a word I use every day. 
All right. All right it's supposed to like oh, push right. us, okay? Um, Lightly. I don't know if we have to put all our weight on it. I think we just put a lot No, yeah, touch. we don't put any weight. We yeah, just no, touch like, it and keep try to keep our hands, arms from moving. Right. Just don't move it, right? Right. Okay. So um, I guess we're going to... Should we play Phasmophobia now, Roland? <laughs> um, what would be a question that we're going to ask? <clears throat> I mean, you guys play phasmophobia, don't you? Like, no question. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, when you use this stuff in the game, you slowly go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's pretty rad. It's really something I usually avoided doing okay. because you typically used it to summon a demon. Oh well, yeah, well you use it to like check that, like, if it's a, there's a demon to because your sanity will drop yeah. by a certain right. percentage. It's it's, it's pretty rad. Yeah. So like, uh, I think you like phasmophobia, Ray. <clears throat> okay. It's pretty. Oh, nice. he's he's seen it, but yeah. So, All right, all right let's, um, uh, not like that. Let's let's. Let's try to think of a question to ask. Okay, so uh, before we continue, I just want to make sure that anything that we call upon is only giving us good vibes. Right. You know, we don't want any negativity on this. No, uh, no. Yeah, don't don't, don't harsh my calm, ghost. Right. Yeah, don't don't or kill thing. my buzz. Right? You better be vibing. Don't man. harsh my buzz, right? Mm, mm, mm. Be vibing, good vibing, right? Right. Good but vibrations. Um, I don't think. Wouldn't it be cool if we got a yes right now? Just yeah. like oh, right. or yeah. spells out yeah. yeah. My hands are getting um, tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let me see. Is anyone or anything in the room with us right now? I'm not. I'm just like, yeah, I'm come just on. Like, besides <laughs> us. Besides us. How old are you? And like in true phasmophobia fashion, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? <laughs> He's just trying to fucking get this ghost fucking mad at you so you can figure out what it is. Let's uh, let's uh, get more specific. Uh, before we call upon our some of our guests, let's call upon the first guest that we had mentioned before. Was it Norm Macdonald? Just it was yeah, Norm Macdonald. I was, yeah. I was thinking about that just to say hello. So I want to say if, if Norm Macdonald is out there, please, uh, can you let us know? Is Norm McDonald in the room with us right now? It'd be a lot cooler if he were. Uh, yes, is, yes, uh, it would. Is Jerry Garcia in We're the room fans. with us right now? <laughs> we call upon Norm McDonald <laughs> and Jerry you. Garcia. <laughs> yeah. No? The power of Norm McDonald compels you. We just. <laughs> um. Oh. um. Is anybody out uh, out there right now? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> How young are you? Are you nearby? Close. If we had our fucking <clears throat> spirit right, box. Yeah. Are you angry or? Well, no, we don't Away. care about that. Yeah. Is, is anything? Yeah. <laughs> we only are you refusing cool, to speak cool with us because we are not taking this seriously. We we are totally taking this seriously. But we are kind of taking this seriously. We would like you to Yeah, speak it's with just us. we're we're coming we're gonna bring you humor because yeah. if you're malevolent, you might like a joke and may like spare us. Right, yeah. Yeah. You we know, can make you laugh. But maybe you won't now that we, you, you know, gave our hand like that. Um Haunt us? No, we don't need any hauntings. We just need uh, nice yeah. communications. We wanna we know what's going on on the other side. Yes. Right. How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Serious face. Are you upset with us for our, our approach to using this board, the spirit board? <laughs> Burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to get our elbows off the goddamn table for yeah. this to actually work? I'm going to get my elbow off the table. Oh, it's so difficult. But now this is like, we're in our 30s oh. and yeah, it's hard. 40s? It's difficult. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, uh, one, two, three, flex. Well, I'm sorry. Actually, we've got a 13 year old and a couple of dudes in our 30s. Oh, those days at the gym okay, are finally so, coming in handy. Yeah. Are you able to communicate with us now that our elbows are off the table? Mm. Is that a yes or a no? Hey, who else were we going to try to talk to? I forgot. Anton uh, LeVay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Anton. You out there? Anton, you can hear us, man. Come on. Are you here with us now, Anton LeVay? Anton Zandor LeVay, excuse me, pardon me. Um, Mr. LeVay, 
is it possible that I can use satanic ritual magic to make my arms not wimp out when I'm, you know, kind of... We're trying to summon you. ...put on a planchette, <laughs> and I'm like, what is this, punishment? Oh... My arms are so tired. I'm so weak. <laughs> okay. Um, if we haven't really summoned anything, that's a push over to say goodbye yeah. for now. Where is the, yeah. where's the goodbye good. thing? Our good. little rest. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, you're putting it over the numbers. Yeah, yeah goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. goodbye. Good. Goodbye. Bye. There you go. <sighs> oh, that was exhausting. Wow. Man, I, um, I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like a energy, energy, I, all this energy passed through me now. <laughs> and now I'm just exhausted. <laughs> what is this feeling I have uh, of like fatigue? Right. <laughs> Did, was that yeah. a yeah. And then people, spirit? And then there's some in the comments that's like, <laughs> like oh, I, I have to you guys have must have had one of them draining spirits. <laughs> <laughs> they take your life force. <laughs> Have you seen what we do in the shadows? But it's dead. And coming to the other side. Um, okay. uh, behold, I spake it unto the yeah. specter. Hold on. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll try one more time, all right? Oh. Let's just uh, loosen up those arms. Let's try two people this time, all right? Just two of us. All right. Uh, who wants to do it? You two. I'll, I'll get in on it. You get Who's your, the next right, person? Sure. I mean, I'm getting right, so get your, we'll bring it over here this way. going. All right. All right, hold on. Maybe, maybe like Anton LaVey or Norm MacDonald just don't like rolling or something. I don't know. Hey, I'm a fan. I mean, we don't. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking well, about? We love you. You gotta, you gotta, we, we have to be, I'm not protected now. Damn it, this sucks. Oh. Ooh. So let's, uh, I don't like this. I feel like I, uh, we do like this whole like circular thing, like seven, let's do seven times circled just to warm it up. How about that? <laughs> right? So we'll go this way, uh, that way, seven times in a circle. One, oh, clockwise. Two, three. Why seven, you religious four, nut? Why not three five, for the Trinity? Why not? Shill. Why not? <laughs> Christian. Oh. oh, seven. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Seven's like a number, right? The, the, it is a number, Ray. Yes. <laughs> so it very is, much uh, is. It's like a significant after number. After six, within, before eight. No, yeah, but it's like a significant number within like these kind of like Lots of numbers. Things, right? Parts, oh, of, parts wow. of a whole bunch of other numbers like 177, for instance. There's two sevens in <laughs> well, there, right? Let's lots, do it. 177. Lots of cool numbers. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, you could, have, you um, could have used instead. Um, so is there anyone that has passed to this other plane or whatever you want to call it present in the house that wants to come say what's up and what's up is slang for what's up or what's happening or how's it going also very popular in a beer commercial oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was put out uh but in the 90s or something. all, all jokes aside shit. is someone in the room with us right now who would like to speak with us Is there a spirit in here that wants one of us to jerk the planchette and then to accuse the other of pushing it? Is that going on here? Is this like one of these situations where we have to believe in it to um, like... Make it work? Yeah. Well, wouldn't that still make it fake? If there's, <laughs> <laughs> if there's a spirit here... I don't understand. Would it not be reasonable... That although we disbelieve, <clears throat> we are attempting a mostly alleged, tried and true method of contacting the other side where right. you all are supposed to be. Right. So good or bad, we're curious about like what's going to happen. So yes. is that not reasonable? You know, right? We that is a question we're asking. Is that a reasonable thing for us to do? Oh, dude, what if our ghost like doesn't speak English? Oh shit! Well. Yes, it's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> What if, Roman, what if Roman, our ghost? Roman, can you translate, please? Jesus what if our What if our ghost? Uh, no, no. I'm. You know, no. We We need to be respectful, Ray. Okay. Well, I'm trying to be we respectful. To, right? I, I. I. Me too. Look, we're I being almost, respectful, but I we're being fun too. Really we want to make sure that these uh, spirits know that it's just because it's you're just on the okay. other side doesn't mean you still can't have a good time and laugh. You know? Yeah. Like what? Jokes <laughs> end when you die. Like I. I, I bet fucking. You know, Norm is cracking it up in hell. Oh, yeah. He's still telling those OJ jokes that he did on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, hey, yo, no, it's even funnier now because oh. I found his wife down yeah. here and she <laughs> told me the <this> story. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so um, is OJ Simpson now listening? Oh, he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> is Nicole Brown system, <laughs> Systems <laughs> Simpson listening? Nicole, um, are you out there, Nicole? Mm. How's it going down there? Maybe someone more fresh. Hmm. Well, like, can I? This, one, this one's for Jamie. Uh, can I speak to Glenn Fry? Is Glenn Fry out there? And if you're out there, are you still singing songs in the afterlife? He's a guy from the Eagles. I kind of figured. Um, mm, he's going to say, fuck you, Jamie. Can you give us a sign? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, God damn it, guys. No. I was trying to steal that because like, I don't know what's going to work on these fucking ghosts if they can fuck with us on this. But uh, fuck this, man. Ah, ah, goodbye. Oh, yeah, goodbye. sorry. <laughs> well, you say goodbye, so that should oh, count. Goodbye, so there. Well, I mean, we had so much summoned, you yeah, know. know. Right. Um, They're all there for us. They're you. You think it's the salt? We need more salt? Oh, or should I put the salt down? All right, I'll hide the salt. <laughs> it's angry about the salt. All right. Let's ask. We'll ask it in a, in a minute. I was going to like, uh, brought up this question earlier, Roland. I don't know if you were here mm, when I did. But probably not. Are ghosts more susceptible to different types of salt? Pink Himalayan salt, oh. sea salt. We were talking about this salt. last night, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, interesting. You think? No. If I had a salt <laughs> lamp here, would that just blow up the whole scene? No, because there's no ghosts. But if there were... I would still say no. <laughs> Wait, are are you, are you an an unbeliever? I mean, no. Are yes. you a non-believer? Yeah, that's kind of a non non-believer. Hmm. <coughs> Are you a Catholic? No. I mean, are you Methodist? What were you? Methodist? I was. Oh, you were. Also. However, so like I, no. I think I was Catholic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But uh, now, does our skepticism affect? I I mean I suppose I suppose because w even though we say we are attempting to uh, 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 be receptive, you know, to to the powers of the Ouija. Thing is, we, I we, am. we really can't. I really am. Like <clears throat> we if, really can't if this necessarily. Shit would, like, pop uh, in, I don't know. That would be amazing. Like if this stuff, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's why I was like, However, all right, like, let's we have get this even crazier and then read more shit on Bigfoot being a interdimensional being and stuff. Like, you don't know, and then ghosts, and then you apply to all these fucking cryptids and all these other <clears> fucking <throat> things, and then you think about the reptilians fucking with us, and then you read David Icke, and then you go, wow! Ancient um, aliens have read all along. Yeah, but I mean... Oh, ancient aliens, that's just for, you know, afternoon tea, man. <laughs> <laughs> just a tip. So... Two somewhat sessions. I mean, maybe we're just doing it incorrectly. I don't know. Maybe. No uh, well, it'd be great. Hasbro. Right. Who prints literal books for Dungeons and Dragons, which are hundreds of pages of fucking rules. You I can't mean, give these, us a these, one uh, pointer these guys, sheet. These guys got a YouTube page. I wonder if they have any, like, how-to videos. You know what it is? Or? You know what it fucking is? If they don't want people returning them. Right, so they're they think it's not working. They're like, I'm sorry, like you can't return this game. We've what if they go? Else. Well, the manual's not in the box, so we can't <laughs> take it back. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. That's a business. That's what it is. It's a business play that they have. When it doesn't work, you can't take it back. You can't claim that it's just not working, right? Because I mean, they're gonna just. Well, what is the? Per I've never had a situation where anyone tries to return this. So I'm kind of curious, like, is there how many situations have someone tried to return it and like the? It's always like a pissed person off kind parent, of like, yeah, it's a pissed or off a parent. grandma or something. Do you think everyone? This is the devil. Do you think anyone who's bought bought this is like just destroyed it, and like they burned it? Sure. Know, okay, let, let me just say this, right? Yeah. The the situation in which it's I saw thing. this being used, uh huh. I. The persons claimed that they threw it in the Rosaka, showed up back in the garbage again, right? 
Wow, I've never heard that story before. Broke it and threw it in the trash. Ended up back in the house mm. fully. And I'm just like, Mom, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well done. Yeah, if she saw me like uh, fucking with this, she'd be like, oh, I don't know. Like, well, I'm, I'm telling you right You're now. You're not I'll, coming back in the house I'm not, tonight, I'm not are gonna you? Tell her that I was fucking with this, right? I want to know. Oh, like, she, if she, she starts seeing she... shit around the house because she'll tell me, <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell her I've been fucking with this thing, right? She tends to see shit. Yeah, allegedly, out of the corner of her eye. Oh, in okay. The, some shadow, or you know what? I'm going to believe the dog's reacting <laughs> more than my mother's saying something. Right? Oh. If, if, if Jerry and the cat start freaking out, you know, maybe there's something in this and then we can try this again, right? If the dogs start freaking out at my house, maybe there's something that follows me back. I don't know. Because most folks who have... Yeah, it's time to let your army of cats inside roll and see how they react to you. <laughs> they're just acting really... They're going to kill yeah, me and murder They're just going to well, murder I me. Mean, yeah. Yeah. Maybe more likely to eat me in my sleep. You have, have you seen anything around uh, apartment whenever we lived together? Was there any sort of like weird thing that's happened? Because like a lot of people have said that they've seen things in places that I lived at. I personally don't experience any of these like weird things. I these things that didn't freak me out enough to like not sleep at night. Yeah. Right? So. No. So barring if something is following you around as those sort of stories go. Yes. Um, you know, I lived in that place for like what, two, two and a half years, some bullshit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, nothing. We just had good times. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would say. Pretty much. The only time I saw that doppelganger that looked like Brian, uh, but that was, that was the last thing I saw. But again, this spirit ghost doppelganger just went to my restroom and take a shit. Mm-hmm. So that was the end of that. Never saw it again. Dude, actually, I, I have a hypothesis about what happened. It's like What's a that? tumor or whatever in the back of his head, putting pressure on uh, some part of his I brain. Mean, nobody him. was in the fucking apartment. <laughs> I know. Again. But you were all outside. We were having a party. So, no. <laughs> alternate universe blipped in for a sec. Maybe. Oh, it was a Donnie Darko it. moment, mm. and it was Brian going to go take a shit <laughs> in your restroom because apparently in that universe he came from. Like, they're so closely aligned. Hey, every Brian in every universe takes a shit in your toilet, right? I mean, that That's might just true. be a rule. Yeah. His rule, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> well, all of his rule, I guess, because if there it's a multiverse, like, it's, if it's a multiversal right. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna contact Brian and ask him. Like, is it a rule to take a shit in my? Is it yeah? Is anywhere it, I live, is it a rule to take a shit in my restaurant? Right. Is this if one of your that is available to you? Is this a rule for you, Brian? Yeah. Only maybe just a very private person, man. Maybe that's his like. Well, yeah, he would close the door. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would. No, no, he, no. He, he closed I was the there door. when this would happen. <laughs> okay, right. Like Same. at the place that I ended up living at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That was I, that is the. I'm with you here, but. It was always very strange because it's like I never pooped at y'all's place until I lived there. Like, now that's strange. Well, I time myself because I don't. I'm kind of like that fucking dickhead from American Pie where he doesn't like to poop apart from being oh, at home. Gotcha. Yeah. So well, I just kind of like I'm kind of figured it out. Take you a know, dump in the morning. Like the, you know, probably borderline alcoholism and all the terrible shit I eat. It's like, all right, I got. Two poops, they come around this time of day. I like how this turned in from the Ouija board to talking about our poops. Well, mm. I mean... This is how things evolve. Right. Well, and, yeah, because uh, I'd say this chat is better than the results from this nonsense. I mean, we completely <laughs> forgot about it here for a second. I was I was actually going to so, talk some more I mean, about yeah, poops. Yeah, this isn't a place, Matt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> let's, flip, let's flip this over. And just, <laughs> I thought we got some nice decor. <laughs> we've been, we've been this doing this the wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> Putting my plate of cereal in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty sturdy. It might yeah, it work like as a good, it would like, be a good tray. Again, <laughs> cutting board. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would be a nice cutting board. Yeah, nice well, board. maybe. Well, it's going to get all sliced yeah. up. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you slice yeah. this shit up, then the spirits are going to come out. Like, oh, they're going to be all angry and shit. Mm. Mm. Think about that. Maybe. Um, so what do we do? Um, Next. Well, that was a fail. Yeah, a little bit. 
I don't know. Right. I, oh, I, I, oh I know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to try to get our money back. <laughs> 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 well, since I did buy it, I should try and attempt it. <laughs> nah, Bryce is never gonna let that happen. Dude, no, 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 no. And, then, and this will come back on you because a few people at your place of business support your local booksellers. Um, they're gonna call you on this because they're gonna be like Ouija board episode, huh? And then you uh, remember how I processed that return for you? And then your boss is about to like, yeah, right, we're going to take that out of your check. And uh, maybe we should worry about the responsibilities we're giving you around here. Shame, and, shame. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was kind of a bummer, man. I mean, yeah, I felt like I had more experience with that. Kind of, a, I mean, kind of a bummer board. considering... We weren't expecting. Yeah, but anything. why would that be? Why would oh, we Ouija work better than the Ouija? Uh, hmm. You know, hmm. could, could it possibly hmm. be the person I was also with? Maybe they're a little bit more spiritually inclined. I don't know. I mean, I was there and it didn't work. You weren't there. No, you weren't. I was there for uh, one or two of them. Well, it wasn't the one I'm talking about. Probably not. I wasn't obviously there for all. I told you I was there. I so shout this. out to that person. If you were able to dupe Ray into moving your uh, hands and make him like believe that it was all like, I know the I, I know who you're talking about, and I, I know a little bit about no, I won't. the story. Well, but I, <clears throat> I, uh, I don't know, man. No, I mean, just don't go to the story. I'm pretty sure I know. Oh no, who no, else no. You're it's it's about. not. Um, it's just I mean, like, so this thing just the results that Ray had were different because the. People that he were with were. I know you're of, talking about more like fucking inclined or whatever. To, yeah, people yeah, that have their yeah. third eye kind of yeah, squinting, exactly, not exactly. open but squinting at you, <clears throat> squinting at life, winking. Oh, yeah. at I don't you. know, uh, but like I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm also being very mean to you know all that line of thinking, but. It's, it's from I'm, disappointment. I'm just, I'm just trying to weigh out options as to like maybe. Oh no, no, sure, yeah. you know, and also like maybe these ghosts don't like jokes. It's true. Damn it. Why do they guys stick up their ass? Yeah. Man? What? I mean, they're not living. They probably didn't want to die. So that'd probably be a good is jump. Every, is, I mean, who is, does? Every, is every person, every Mostly. ghost, like kind of pissed off? Like just because they're dead? I mean, maybe because the guy's like, I could have done that three pointer. And then Jesse Jenkins would have gave me a hand job behind the bleachers. No, like, I don't know, man. And then they just think, like, well, damn, then I didn't go to college. And. <laughs> I didn't become a general in the army and bomb a bunch of poor people. Well, like, I will say that any, also any movie that I've seen, there's always been someone who's been a, like a, is that Charlton? Pushing it or whatever, the faker? Like, a, like yeah, they're fakers, they're yeah. con artists. Um, until like the spirit of like, how dare you be a faker and you've opened up the portal and shit. You, right. know, you know when they, like the, in one of the movies I saw, like they looked through the planchet and they're supposed to see something. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Nice um, right. Thank you, but you can see that better without the planchette. I, uh, I think it just, Don't uh, I just do it. <laughs> Don't even fucking do it. I <laughs> see he's an asshole. All right. Um, anyone, anyone out there, uh, if you have any uh, comments about the way we approached uh, this Ouija session, Please uh, let us know. We're okay. open to learning because, like, we we'll try it again. We yeah, are skeptics, I mean, we but we are tried. open to it, dude. <laughs> like, we are, we actually are, despite you know the sarcasm, the shit that came out. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful sarcasm. So, You're um, welcome. by the way, if anything starts popping off, like oh, we'll do a follow up. Like, yeah, there'll we'll, be a thing where I'm like doing a, you know, face <clears> cam <throat> thing. Oh, the, we're, are we gonna are we gonna blur which this? Is that I mean, what we're doing? No, no. We'll, Only we'll, if it's real. We'll, we'll get it. If you start seeing shit and you're like, weird shit starts happening at your, your house. I'm going to stop whatever. blowing my nose for like uh, a couple of hours. and. Well, maybe. I don't know, man. <laughs> stuff my face into the corner of a room. If you see like something move on its own or you see something in the oh. corner of a fucking room and stuff, you know, you, you, you film that, you send it to me, we put it on TikTok, we'll get some views, right? All right. But only, only, only if it's legit. Oh, yeah, no. Oh. We're not going to be fucking making fake-ass videos oh. here. No. What are we? Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters, all those clowns? No. Right. no. Who do you think we are? Zach Baggins from the Shire? I mean, and Ghost Adventures? We're not plumbers either, so. We're not. We'd be making more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, we wouldn't be doing this. Well, well, uh, well we'd be more tired. We'd be, be like, tired. all right, guys, we need a tight 15 because uh, yeah. four in the morning comes early. 
Mm-hmm. You know, at some point we should try to do it either at or near a cemetery and at around three o'clock in the morning. Maybe that'll help. Mm. That is so well past our bedtime. That's uh, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, specific. Right. We need to sleep all day. Yeah. To get to that point, yeah. because I won't be awake. No, you know? I would. Nah, I want to be. Just fucking wake up six in the morning, pound a bunch of booze. Yeah. And force yourself into a nap around All one. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about an eight hour nap. <laughs> around one o'clock in the afternoon. Precisely. Get up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And drive to the nearest catch cemetery. A, catch a light dinner, you know, yeah. like mm-hmm. uh, have a yeah. cup of coffee and get on the hunt. Yeah. Start summoning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's that easy. Yeah, no. it is. Um, well, I guess that's it for us, man. I mean, yeah. Again, you have any. Uh, suggestions or comments on how we approach this uh, leave them below uh, like and subscribe too I mean this is just kind of a fun one we did this is for the Halloween special uh, we have more episodes coming where we actually delve deep into and seriously into uh, certain topics and there's previous episodes where we've also tried um, so we welcome you to check them out because yeah. uh, there's some that I think we're all actually pretty happy with mm-hmm. Um uh, if you're from the Rio Grande Valley, check out our Duendes, La Chusa episodes. Um, those are basically from focusing around this area here and a lot of the folklore that you get told as a child, you know. Uh, if you have any stories, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, or, we're always interested in trying to meet people. That, or uh, leave us a message. I'll leave the link below have, so uh, as well. Valley I think stories we have to share. Email, too, email voicemail, Valley Strange, uh, podcast at gmail.com. Again, I'll leave all the links uh, down below. So, um, hope you have a nice Halloween. And I mean, if you have one of these, like, and you made a video about it, let us know. Yeah, we'll check it tell out. Tell us what we're doing wrong or whatever. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> all right, that's it. You're going to hell. All right. <laughs>